This idea, so, this idea that celebrities are these fragile wallflowers, give me a break. You and I both know people in Hollywood. The because she acted in a movie, Hollywood you rallied people. Are sitting at home crying into their iPhones. Why didn't you stand up as people called her ape, gorilla, and worse, and say, guys, this is good to why do, but to not racist. Other people, not why should I have to police other people's stand speech? Up for right. I'm responsible why not for, stand up for the right? I'm responsible for what I say. I'm perfectly happy to tell you well, I think that stuff is disgusting. So you had I'm no perfectly obligation happy to tell for your 350,000 followers. Does Justin Bieber who have were, an obligation to his fans? descending on no, 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 this no, no, no. woman. I'm sorry for being popular, but I am not responsible for what 350,000 people on the internet say. I am responsible for what I say. Oh. Do you go after Selena Gomez when her fans send death threats to Justin Bieber? No. Do you go after Beyonce when her fans go after uh, Taylor Swift? No. One of his hot topics? When they wanted to have me removed from Pershing Square, a public space in the center of Los Angeles is the female physique. And you're gonna go <laughs> oh. after somebody's body? Yeah. To denigrate their ideas? Absol that, what absolutely. grade are you in? Abs Seriously. No, 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 no. Are you a 13-year-old No, 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 no. Absolutely I will, and I'll tell you why. Because, because, because somebody this, the doesn't body have positive. a weight that you it's think is, it is proper? So That's revolting. No, it's not revolting. Yes, it is. No, it's not. I'll tell you what's revolting. What's revolting is the body positivity movement. What's revolting is this, is this idea now that you can tell women that they'll be healthy at any size. Why? Because it tells women that you can be fat and you can be unattractive and you'll be happy anyway. That's a lie. I want to know what I eat. I eat salad. I eat meat. I don't eat carbs because they don't agree with me. Um, I, you know, I, I eat a lot of fruit and vegetables. I'm primarily vegetarian. Shut the fuck up, you cunt! Shut it! Feminists are another target. I would rather a healthier, equitable arrangement that existed between the sexes, rather than the sort of vindictive feminism that seems to exist now. And by the way, most people agree with me. Fewer than one in five women in America describe themselves as a feminist because they see what I see. These pathological, sociopathic, feminist liars in popular culture, we're all, we, we are, it, is, it is insisted upon us that we all pay obeisance to the cult of Lena Dunham and Amy Schumer, they're put on the cover of the magazines, and we're all expected to pretend that we like them. Well, we don't like I them. I like Amy Schumer, she's Nobody funny. likes she them. She makes me laugh. Oh, please. A lot. Oh, God. Well, you must have very low standards for comedy, I'm telling you. Oh, they're not, not very much makes me laugh from Amy Schumer. Okay, so everybody point to the people booing. These are terrible, talentless people that we are instructed that we must like unless... Then the sort of subtext is, you know, if you don't like them, you're some kind of bigot somehow. With my name-calling and with my provocation and with my bad manners, um, you know, I think actually America's had enough of nice manners. If, if my rudeness creates conversation, my rudeness provokes people into, first of all, saying, oh, what a monster, blah, 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 and then 20% of people start talking about what I was actually saying. I will consider my career to have been a terrific success. In the her. Twitter storm uh, sure, that I happened, you called to... her a dude. I said, said, I said it's a good job there's a hot black dude in the movie. She's like, she looks like a man. I am entitled to say that I think a celebrity looks weird. You think that's fair comment and a decent thing to do? That's like the definition of fair do. comment. It may not be a that's... civil thing to do. If you don't like it, don't follow me on Twitter. Feminist Silly Moments. Casillas, and now a topless feminist has lifted the European Cup. Yana, an activist in a feminist group Femin, peeled down her top, revealing the words, um, flip Euro 2012. Well, something like that. She then tried to pinch the famous trophy. Luckily, security forces were on hand and couldn't have been quicker to surround her, scuppering her plans. Femin believes Euro 2012, which will run in Ukraine from June 9th to July 1st, will lead to a surge in prostitution in the former Soviet Republic and entrench the country as a sex tourist destination in Europe. The group is planning to carry out a series of stunts during the tournament. Feminist Feynman Tabloids protest for Tokyo Belarus president were a bear hawked by police. Three radical Feynman protesters were bear hugged and arrested in the Ukraine after holding a top list protest against the visit of President Lukashenko of Belarus. He's bad. He's bad. In Kiev, they tried to wake up the president up at night outside the building where he was staying, calling him the last dictator of Europe and accusing his government of repression. The protesters removed their tops to expose statements such as dictator.
detector get out. Detector across their chest and backs. Security officials hold them away. Feminine claims that in December 2011, its activists were kidnapped and robbed up by the Belarusian security service who left them in a forest near the Belarus-Ukraine border. <laughs> This is like this is a fucking joke. Xbox is seriously fucking sexist. Like really? I can't have this fucking code because I'm female? That's a fucking joke. That's a fucking I'm really I, I will be emailing Xbox immediately. You need to shut the fuck up. Defend your allegation I'm a white supremacist. Just try, try. Do it. Because you're enabling it. Because you have the main platform that is spreading. What am I enabling? Because what I've talked about this evening isn't race or skin color. I've talked about values. And when the BBC did what you're attempting to do now, um, as 1.3 million people have seen on my YouTube channel, um, <laughs> what, what, what they did was try to conflate an admiration for American values, for the First and Second Amendment, for um, freedom, democracy, property rights, capitalism. They tried to conflate that with race. They tried to say, if you're proud of your country or you admire the values of another country, that somehow makes you a racist. It doesn't. Um, so I ask you one final time, please justify your allegation that I'm a white supremacist. Hateful rhetoric, you're not answering the question. White supremacists hate me. The Daily Stormer is the epicenter of white supremacists on the internet. They declared a holy war on me. They said they would never read Breitbart again until Breitbart fired me. They said I was, the, I, they said I was, the, I was their number one enemy. White supremacists and anti-Semites hate me. I prefer the expression race mixing kike faggot, but whatever. Um, <laughs> So, racists hate me. They hate me. Of course they do. So, racists hate me, but I'm a white supremacist. You're just confusing me. You're confusing me. And I'm very easily confused because I'm a homosexual, but... Should we give him another chance? Give him one more chance? Okay. All right. Okay. One more, one more try. I believe in you. I believe in you. I know you can do it. One more try. Justify your allegation. I didn't ask you if I was enabling white supremacists, which is just an equally idiotic allegation, but it's not the one you made. I'm asking you to justify your allegation that I'm a white supremacist. Please do so. <laughs> All right. I think we've had enough. We've had enough fun at the expense of the disabled. Um, <laughs> thank you very much. I, uh, I'm, I'm sorry you're so stupid. Um, thank you very much, everybody. It's been wonderful. Please, this opportunity, if you all saw me on Facebook, I'm that bitch that was going to flame y'all. And I'm sorry to say that um, you claim that this is free speech, but in actuality, I have a point of view that you may or may not respect. The end. You did not allow me to have a platform to to do that, so I'm, I'm taking. Uh, I, I can't. I can't. I, I can. I think. Do you have a question? <laughs> my question. My question. My question is: If rape culture is a myth, then explain why Kesha was not allowed to break the contract with her executive when he obviously raped her. Uh, I'm not I'm going to comment on an individual case um, I, that I know nothing about. You're obviously better educated in pop culture than I am. I'll have to pass it.
Well, I mean, when it comes to the, we, we've heard a lot about the imbalance of power between, for example, employers and employees, people who have better education versus people who have less education. I can say with a, with a firm heart that the worst imbalance of power and the, and, the, and the most violative principle when it comes to consent is the idea that you're losing, so you bring in the guys with the guns to enforce your point of view is to pay. Uh, that seems to me the, 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 le the least voluntary system, which is exactly what minimum wage is. As far as teenagers, the reason that teenagers are not constituting a huge percentage of the people working at minimum wage is because they're all unemployed. The fact is that Washington State has an incredibly high teenage unemployment rate. And, and, uh, and when it comes to the, the minimum wage in the state of Washington, as we all know, the state of Washington has the highest minimum wage in the, in the nation. So there is a relationship with regard to teenagers. As far, look, in an ideal world, and, and we'll, I'm sure we'll get to this, I'm wondering what exactly the minimum wage should be. Why $15? Why not $35? Why not $55? Why not $100? If, if we are going to be ideologically consistent about all, the, all of this... Are you going to fight for a $50 minimum wage? I, I will fight right alongside you for, for $1,000 minimum wage because I want to see leftist policies implemented in the city so that people actually recognize what impact they have. Wow! Just what Simone's saying, Betsy, you know, emotions are clearly still raw. This was a very hard-fought campaign. And there are still many issues that, that we are left with a question mark. But don't you think the Trump campaign should be, what, gracious in victory? I think the Trump campaign has been very gracious in victory. But what disturbs me the most is to see the Democratic Party leaders and spokespeople like Simone are still making false accusations of racism, in fact, behaving like racists themselves. For example, when uh, the Trump campaign nominated Senator Sessions to be attorney general, he is a civil rights hero, and yet right away they tried to accuse him of being a well, racist. Betsy, I even hear Simone matter. say that a white and person should not lead the Democratic Party. What could be more racist than that? Okay, well, Betsy, so I, I, first hold, of all, hold on, hold on, hold on, please, Simone. Um, we're, we're trying not to get back to the campaign. I'm trying to get, Betsy, I just asked, can the campaign be gracious the campaign in accepting has its victory? You gave me one line and then you went into the criticism. The Democratic Party making false accusations of racism, and one reason Donald Trump won is that Americans are sick and tired of reverse racism, and that's what they heard from Hillary Clinton you know from what, the Betsy, beginning. I'm she sorry, would go in front me. of audiences and We've tell, cut this tell out. black people that they are the victims Betsy. of systemic racism. Betsy, and that was a lie. Betsy, All right, people Betsy, of let's, color, let's, people let's of stop color there. In Simone, hold on. Victims. Simone, Simone, hold on a second, please. I will let you respond. You don't have to shout over me both. Go ahead, Simone. People of color in America are victims of systemic racism. And I really think it's important to note that the while the Trump campaign, yes, they won. Donald Trump is going to be the next president. There's still some real underlying issues. The rhetoric that uh, the campaign elevated, these fringe elements that they brought into mainstream. Like, these are things that people in America are still dealing with. That is why we are having conversations about racism and white supremacy. And the Trump campaign and the Republicans have to at least own that so we can okay. move forward. Okay, no, right. we don't because those Betsy, Betsy, is of there white a way that you can? Is there a, come on, Betsy, is there a way you can listen to a counter argument, not shout I back? I did listen to it, but I don't appreciate these accusations of racism because they are untrue. And the only reason that people like Simone constantly label their opponents as racist is they don't have an argument they can win on the merits. The thing about the Tracy Morgan. Thing. It's like that whole thing I thought was bullshit. It was. The, the, the Tracy Morgan thing? It was thing? absolute ridiculous bullshit. But hang on. Tracy Morgan is in some very hot water today for telling some very homophobic jokes at a show in Nashville last week. The first thing he says is gays need to be tougher about insignificant things like bullying. And then he said, if my son talks to me in a gay voice, I'll pull out a knife and stab him. Hang on. I, I can't stand people who everything's funny, then the shit comes around to them, and then all of a sudden they, st you know, they stop saying it's jokes, they say it's statements. And I'm not saying, because I wasn't there. Wait, no, and wait, he, no, wait, he, got, he got like tried. Look, you weren't there, I wasn't no, there. That, and I just felt like he didn't get a chance to say. He just immediately went into apology mode, and then all of a sudden they're parading him around <laughs> like this trophy. And, and this is the only thing I'll say. You get to say whatever you want. We all get to, right? Absolutely. But the second it comes out of our mouths, it's no longer in our control about how it's supposed to be interpreted. 
The person who said it knows what they meant by it. If you process it in a fucked up way, ask him how he meant it first. But you don't get that luxury as a comedian. You don't get the luxury to say, but I really meant to say it this way. I realize that. But here's what it really rests on, is that the whole thing came off of one guy's blog. Every news item about it. Did Tracy deny saying it? No. Did the guy get it wrong? No. Those two things we know. How do you know that? Because Tracy didn't say, wait, dude, that's not exactly what I said. Whether he said something offensive or not, I just thought it was fucked up that one guy went home, like, with, I guess, the greatest memory ever, like a stenographer, and typed it out, and everybody's like, that's what he said, and that's what he meant, because guy in seat number 5F (laughs) said it. And next thing you know, he's going around, got to apologize. That's kind of a scary thing as a comedian. I've seen Tracy's act, like... His show was crazy. His it show is pretty, was pretty yeah. over the top. Trace- I was trying to remember what he was heckling. I just remember cocksuckers, so I think we were talking about gay people. There we go. <laughs> you know, the fucking lesson here is the gay community is, has a very strong activist community who, when they hear shit against them, they take it to the mat, and, and guess what? Shit happens. Yeah, but I, I don't agree with that. Guess yeah. what? Shit happens. That word, it can mean other things. It just can be ball breaking. Anytime you play sport, I was playing hockey the other day, okay? And this guy, he knocked me down. I felt stupid. I got up. He asked me. He goes, he goes, you all right? And I go, yeah, you faggot. Like, it was this oddly intimate moment. He was going, are you OK? And we were on the ice. And I, it made me uncomfortable. And I said, hey, you faggot, get away from me. Like, why was it that faggot was the word that came to you when he was trying to help you? These are the questions that they should ask. Rather than saying, you said it, you said it, so it, it means this. Why did it come? Because of the way I grew up, because of the way guys are. You, you're not supposed to be, I fell down. Are you OK? Fast.